Hey everyone, welcome to the Koch file. So <clears throat> she made a video called More Beeson and I'm gonna see what she has to say. Let's do it. Yoritsa. Of course she's singing. Always singing. Wow, she's drinking water. Impressive. You're twisty misty. Glad I don't have to, glad I won't be having to take any hey. after work naps anymore. Hi guys! Did you, did yeah, Pete adjust his schedule? Hi yeah. right, people. Hey Pete's. Long time no see. Hello as you're coming Marissa, in. you know this. Hi Maureen, I missed all you guys. You missed us Gabriel, in a few hours. Mood Meow, Salzonic Oy. Legend. Thank you so much. Thank you Rain. so much. That's okay. Karma's enabler. I'm sorry about that. Bianca, punk rock. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hi, lentils. Rhonda. Oh, fuck. Ciao, ciao. Again, she's totally made up. What'd you say, Overload piece? makeup. Never you mind. don't need to have that intense I'm makeup on, Chantal. Saying. You're attractive without all that makeup. I you laughed at Shirley Temple movies. Oh yes, I did. Because they're funny. There was one where an old man got, or where she, I think she got kicked in the ass by a yak, and she flew. It was fucking funny. Yeah, that's funny. Love it when you watch some Shirley Temple movies sometimes. sometimes. You should. We I should watch kind of, it. I do kind of. I do enjoy musicals. Yeah, we should watch one together. Hi, says who clips? Army wife. Hi, Chantal. You're not sleeping. No, Nelly. Actually, I look like I'm wide awake. I don't. Buns in my hair. I don't know how... Well, no. Oh. Thank you, Lauren. You guys are so nice. I only got up from my nap like half an hour or so. When she wears a bun in her hair, it just doesn't look right. I think because she's just... She's so big. Um, it just doesn't look right. I, I, I prefer her hair down. I think it looks prettier down. This lipstick is Siren and Scarlet. It's probably the nicest red lipstick, wouldn't you agree? Sure. It is nice. It's a very classic red. I'm not fooling anyone. Is that you, Kathy? Why do you hate yeah, so everybody, me? Everybody, like, everybody never, thinks she's I going fucking, to like, dance. I wish we could just make up. Can you just message me on fucking Instagram, please? And just like, I don't want to have beef with you. Like you've been a, a good friend for a long fucking time. We've been through so much. Seriously. I really don't want to fight with you. And I, I want to make up with you. Like, I remember like, you know what I mean? Like we were childhood friends, like in a way. You too, childhood? So I'm going to wait to hear who this person is. I have no idea who she's talking about. I'm guessing I probably missed it in one of her videos. That, you know, I can't sit through like hours and hours of her. <laughs> I have a job and everything, but. And Let's you know see. I love what? You do childhood? No. You know I love your kids and would never ever fucking mean to hurt them or say anything. What did she do to her no, this it's woman's true. kids? I don't want to have like any like Who is she talking to? Yeah, like, you know. I don't I don't like it. She's talking like as if sorry, someone's mowing their grass. <laughs> I can't believe how loud it is. She is talking to someone i mean she's talking to the camera as if she's talking to the person and i don't even think this person is on the channel with her kids i'm kidding i don't know your kids no but i don't I, like kids on principle i mean can i apologize i mean i really don't want to carbon is able welcome to very important bees there's carbon's enabler ready set bees like fuck it's my my I've said some really nasty things to her, and I own my part in that. You know, it takes two to argue, no matter what you say. Even if somebody starts Who? the argument, you don't have to reply and perpetuate it. And I don't like, like, I just, when I've known somebody for a long time, and like, I like her as a person, you know, and she's very, very beautiful, and I just miss her as a friend. And she like, you know, I don't know. So I'm curious to know how long they have not been friends. Like why all of a sudden she's trying to connect with this friend. It's kind of strange. 
We've fucking been through so much together. Okay, who? Fuck, honestly. So wait. She threatened to call CPS on her kids if this is the girl. So Chantal called CPS on her friend's kids? Oh, she threatened to call CPS? I'm trying to grab hold of this story. Like, if, you, if you're if you seeing this, somebody posted on Kiwi Farm so she can see. Um, no, what, yeah, what happened was a long, long time ago, well, okay, here like, we when go. I first started YouTube, we got into okay. a bad fight. I said some things I regretted. She sent me... So she started the YouTube channel years ago. So this is somebody from years ago. I'm curious as to why suddenly she's trying to connect with this friend. An email flipping out saying she was going to call immigration on BB. And then I was like, well, you know what? Maybe well, that's would like an odd people, thing like, to say. Whatever. And I wonder what the conversation was around that. I mean, what was the conversation that that person responded with that? And was it right for Chantal to respond to that? By upping her with, I'm going to call CPS on your kids. Because, you know, when people when people say things like that, like over the top comments like that to people, like I'm going to call the cops or I'm going to call CPS or whatever like that, it actually makes the situation worse when you come back, when you're trying to one-up somebody, you know, with a even bigger threat. Um, it does not diffuse the situation all it does is make it a thousand times worse because now you've attacked that person's kids and you know people are very protective over their children so why would you go back with that type of a comment towards somebody you consider a really good friend why don't you turn to that person and say why would you say that and try to try to remediate the situation you know, try to fix it and see what what is triggering her to, to make a comment like that. Why would you go back and say, oh, well, I'm going to call CPS on your kids. I don't know. I just, I, we don't know the whole conversation. So naturally, we're getting piecemeal here. We're getting Chantal's version. You know, they always say, there's two sides of the story. We don't know what this woman's side is. That was, I was out of line. That was so stupid. She's a very good mom. Like, Okay. If somebody calls CPS or threaten to call CPS on my kids... It'd be over. Like, over. Never, ever speak to that person again. They're, that's it. Shut them out. Somebody stoops to that level? No. I'm not saying she was right to threaten to call immigration on BB. I'm not sure where that came from. But Sean's how call, threatening to call CPS is a real low blow, blow below, below the belt. I've seen her. And she's very, very protective of her kids. And Of course. Um, I don't want to talk about her or dox her or anything, but she's been through a lot and she's a very strong person. I don't want to talk about her, but she's talking about her right here. Do you see what she's doing? She's, again, not respecting this person's boundaries. This person has completely disconnected from you for years. Why are you talking about her again? Does she want her life on on YouTube? Does she want all this information out there? You're not respecting this person's privacy. Why are you even bringing it up? I think she's just really de like defensive and I said something that really took her the wrong way and I just I apologize for that. Like I, I really don't really would never want to hurt a friend or their kids, you know? I don't See, she doesn't have children, so she has no idea what it is to be a parent and to be so protective of your children. It's like a natural instinct. When someone attacks you and your kids, you immediately, you know, go into protection mode. You get, you get uh, defensive. I can't blame people. I mean, it's, it's, it's. I, I completely understand why this woman shut her out. I think she just saw the magnitude of the issue and she decided to step away. But I'm finding this entire conversation bizarre. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. Why did this person even enter her mind? You know, I'm talking about this because it it's been on my mind. And, like, I had a dream that I was hanging out with her. And... 
So if you had Adrena, you're hanging out with her and she came into your mind, why wouldn't she try to reach out privately? I mean, we have Facebook, we have all kinds of social media. There's got to be a way you can reach out to this person privately. But let's also keep in mind, this relationship did not end well. She obviously does not want you getting in touch with her because she has not reached out to you or made herself available to you. So why are you trying to rehash something simply because you had a good memory? You have to consider all the things that happened towards the end of that relationship and why it it just disintegrated. That's, you know what I mean? I hate when she says, you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Like, Tell us. I, I still care about her as a person. I can't help it. I, I People who have had in my life for a long time and I've had intense situations with, like, fuck, like, we've been through a lot, Kathy, like, fuck. Oh, like, God, she said the it. woman's <laughs> name. She just Every said the woman's name. Christian, oh, my I God. Think of you. Um, I don't Who the hell's Christian? That, oh, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. She's talking about it. But it's fucking fucked up. Oh, and it freaking really hell. Bothers me, and I have some guilt from that. And just need to get it out, you know? So message me. This is the only way I know how to contact her. If she even watches me. Sean's how she's not watching you. Trust me. After what you did? to repair friendships. It's never too late. Why is this coming up years later? Why now you want to re rekindle the, the friendship? Why? I certainly want you, wouldn't want you reaching out to me. I would want nothing to do with you. Nothing. If you did that to me. I could forgive anybody for anything. Like, I, I'm usually one who holds... Wait, wait, wait. She can forgive anyone for anything. Do you think that she's going to be so forgiving of you for what you did? You you only see things from your little perspective. You're not putting yourself in that person's shoes. You're not showing empathy. You're not thinking about if that was me and I had my children and someone said that to me, how would I react? Sometimes you have to put yourself in another person's shoes to understand why they react the way they do to you because your actions make them react a certain way grudges and stuff but you know what what's the fucking point you know i don't know no i don't what know Chantal to explain sure. the pizza's like whatever i fucking miss your crazy ass so bad she does not miss like, yours seriously she does not miss yours i do I no do. she does not why are you talking like she's uh, here I... not hall of holly cannabis i never had a fallout with holly cannabis was she an online friend no she was a friend since grade nine high school she's really cool so she obviously knows and you we very used to well. hang out all the fucking time we've been through so much Okay, but and now you're almost 40. Hello, Kathy. She is almost 40 years old. People grow up, they mature, friendships change, dynamics change. That happens. As we get older, we change, we evolve. Our interests change, our, you know, everything changes. She is living the best life she can with her family. Why are you trying to disrupt things? Why would you mention her name? Why would you mention the situation? Because now you just set into motion all the people in Kiwi Farms and I don't know what to go find this person and now harass her. Chantal, stop it. Stop talking. Get off these lives because you're, you're sitting there just trying to find content and you're just rambling and rambling and rambling about nonsense. And you're disclosing all kinds of information that can be damaging to another person who is connected in your life. Your actions are causing other people distress. Stop it. Just shut the mouth. Stop it. Why don't you make a plan on your lives? Make an outline of what you're going to talk about and stay on course. You have to get organized. You have to get control of that mouth. Alright, I'm done. She, I think she uh, fucking dated your brother. There you go. More information. Sorry, Kathy. I'm trying not to talk too much about you. But... Sure. Wow. Yeah. She's talking as if, as if this woman's online. 
Sorry, Kathy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. What? What? Oh my God. I'm just getting upset listening to this because if I was Kat, Kathy or whatever her name is, if I was her, I would be furious hearing this. Just furious that she's putting our information out there online. I have absolutely no memory of her. Yeah. Hi, Ned girl. Yeah, he does. Well, hung out with, not dated. I think. Yeah, I hope we can too. Like, you know, I don't fucking know. Maybe she won't want to because I think she's like really on with my haters right now. And How do you know I that? I don't fucking know. So if you've never, if you haven't been in touch with her all these years, how do you know she's hanging out with the haters? How do you know that? You're making an assumption that you don't even know the fact about. You're, you're assuming something. She could be just not following a damn thing about your life and just living her best life. Leave her alone. Leave her alone and stop talking about her. But I'm here if you want to talk. If not, <coughs> that's fine. I understand. What'd she look like? Really, Brianna? She's yeah, Pete, have her describe the woman so now we can hair, really find her. Very pretty. Tall, Not we, thin, but you know, there's people out there that do it. A darker skin a bit. No, no recollection. So she must not have been that good of a friend. Pete was with her for how many years? But I don't remember. Uh, stop sticking your finger in your mouth. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Most things. No, I mean, I've said... I've mouthed off people on here and like all the time. You know, I mean, there's always going to be haters. There's always going to be people who don't fucking like you. It's not, it's normal. We don't like everybody, you know, but the difference is if I really fucking did something to you so bad that you hate me every day of your life and you want to make my life miserable, please message me. I will be your friend. Like I have no problem. So is she accusing this, this Kathy of, uh, of this, like hating on her, and it's just—I don't know. This conversation is weird. You know, like I really don't want people to harbor bad feelings like like that towards me. I don't. Why is this coming out now? There, there's something. Something triggered it. It's it's so bizarre. So, just letting you know, my DMs are open now. You have a problem with me? Message me. Um, but don't come at me with like, well, this is these rumors, blah, blah, blah. Like, well, I don't know. Like, what the hell is she talking about? What the hell is she talking about? These rumors, what the rumors. Actually, so how do you know, wait, you know, how do you know that this Kathy person heard any rumors? What makes you think that she cares one ounce about your life and following you? You're giving her like weight, you know, you're, what? I'm sorry, guys. I this is just unbelievable. This is the weirdest conversation. Let the past be in the past. Don't talk so much. Sorry, I'm very talkative. Yeah. There are people who are talkative. And then there are people who have diarrhea of the mouth. You, my friend, have diarrhea of the mouth. You just go on and on and on and don't put any type of stop button on anything you're saying. Like, you, you're like a detective's dream. Pete's is on his sock account. <laughs> you better not troll me, asshole, or it's going to be a fucking meatloaf jail for you. Oh, Can I troll you to your face? Hold on, i got to spray my head. Again, oh, she's putting way right. too much yep, and putting it too close to her head. All right, that's better. She's just painting her head. Oh, fuck. I have a receding hairline. Okay. Who wants to date me now? Like, why would you go through all this just to sit on a live? She's got to be going somewhere. What the fuck? You wouldn't date me because I have a fucking spray paint hair? You're balding, too. Wow. The You're fuck, nice. Man? Want me to try it on you? Why? No, please don't spray that on him. Jesus Christ. La, la, la. Ooh, la, la, la. 
spraying more crap in her hair. That's gonna be fucking boiling. How am I gonna wear these hair fibers? Do you think that she'll ever get to Jamaica? I would love for her to get to Jamaica. But in her health condition that she's at now and her weight, she's going to have a really hard time, not only with the altitude, but also the stress of traveling. When you travel a long distance, you have time change differences, your body adjusts, um, you know, you get jet lagged. I just can't see that being a pleasant trip for her. Like, she, I, I wish she would get much more healthier first, like focus on getting healthy, lose more weight increase your health and then you'll be ready i'd love to see her go to jamaica i think she'd have a blast but she has to be in better health fuck Took Someone some wrote, are you going to make any scary pasta videos soon from Jessica? Jessica? So you know, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I get so excited to see Pete's on here and then he ignores us, shaking my head. Really, Pete, save, save us Mary? from the childish sex and drug Thank talk. Yes, if you got healthy, your hair would probably grow back. It, it definitely would help. So, Pete, what's new? I mean, she'd, have to, she'd have to take supplements and stuff. Not so much. Get her hormones checked. Sometimes hair loss is associated to ra rapid weight loss. Patch. It can grow back. Now, I don't know if that will be good for my hair or not. Um, oh, Jabba the Hutt, I remember you. Sorry. I can't get bangs. He wants to be here or he wouldn't be here. I didn't ask him to be here, right? Nope, I just randomly walked in and saw you were doing live and then I sat down. Yeah, I like he, bugs, he, my right? Dog, he wants to see me. Do you, do you take estrogen at all? I think she does. I think she forgot to take it too. Any, she hasn't been consistent with that. Peanut butter project? No, I don't. What the fuck? Hi, Tiffany. Beezin with Pete's. We're Pete's in. Hi, Tess. It's like male baldness. What the fuck? I'm not a male. If my hormones regulate, it can grow back, right? I mean, no. Don't fucking be like that, Anon. No. Job of the hut. Again with the blocking issue. Stop. Sending her an email two months ago about being blocked by Dax, and she never true. replied. Just unblock everybody, Chantal, for heaven's sakes. I'm a hot mess. Hey. I kissed her bald spot with my red lipstick. Fuck. Prenatal vitamins? Oh, fuck. Who's that? Hi, Al. Peace doesn't want to wear lipstick, right, Peace? Jador Jabba. There we go. Jabba and all her lovers. No. Natty says, Pete's, why don't you want to talk to us? So, yeah, I gotta see a hair doctor. Chantal likes to have to the scene. scene. The <clears> lipstick <throat> is called Siren and Scarlet by Maybelline. I don't know if castor oil. I look like Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> Please. Honey Boo Boo. Seven minutes in heaven. Hair replacement surgery. No lip liner. No. Limited iron. What? My face looks thinner. Thank you. I'm down like 60 something pounds in total, so. Good for you, but you still need to change girls club, no. what you're eating. Aw, sweetie. <laughs> you see her? Aww. Mia Those Banks, your collagen here. will make it grow back tomorrow. within one month. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, kid. but yeah, it does hey, help been, considerably the with Hi, the Nanny biotin. G. Full of sunshine. Yeah. What have I been doing to lose weight? Well, nothing too too healthy, actually. Um, I've just been on a medication called Ozempic, which makes me feel sick, which what I don't want to eat. And... 
Um, I did, I am doing more activity, like sex exercise. I have sex like 10 times a day. Do we care? Do we care? Um, not anymore right now though. Fuck, so. Um, what else? Hi, Tian. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just hump my pillows for exercise. I mean, it's the same thing. Jesus it's the riding that's the exercise, right? Ah, freaking hell. Okay, so. Hey, now, oh, Ozempic makes you lose only 70 pounds after a year. Sex for 24 minutes only burn. 70 pounds after a year. Oh, look, she's, year. she's, she's on live now. I don't know, now. guys, how it's <laughs> happening. What the, what, what? I mean, if I had, if I, if I had access to the live, I don't have that now, I think, because you have to meet a certain threshold with YouTube, but I would have definitely jumped on the live. That would have been so much fun to have like everybody together, kind of like French Red Girl was doing that I participate in hers. And, uh. They're fun. They're actually a lot of fun. When you're actually doing it live. I'm doing to lose weight. I don't eat. Um, no, I'm not trolling. I would hunt my pillows. It's called masturbation. Elliptical. Thank you, Sarah. Sorry, Pete. Do you care if I hump things in my room? No. Yeah, I can't put it on slow mode right now. I know that's the thing. Maybe I should get the surgery because once I come off of any medication or anything, but like, you know. Thank you, Organic Alley Cat. Things in check, I guess. I don't have the munchies right now, which is really good. That's good. Um, maybe a little, but I don't want to eat. Yeah, don't. You so don't need to eat. All I ate today was those few bites of... That's not healthy, though. Like, I really want to have some kind of liquid nutrition just so I can get it out of the fucking day. Like, out of the, the hell way, is she like, talking about boost, liquid like nutrition? Kind of boost, like a diabetic boost and get all my supplements and pills out of the way. And then just like some people are you going to be satisfied with a only liquid diet you tried it before you were not successful not that you couldn't try it again and be successful but <laughs> are you ready for that are you ready for that type of commitment i mean you can't even avoid the takeout nearly every day i mean it is every day multiple times a day you can't even avoid that how do you think you're going to avoid food just doing liquid if you can't even deal with? I don't, I don't, yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to say on liquid nutrition or they can't digest food and my stomach is messed up right now. I, I just don't want to fucking put food in it. Well, you, you know? want to eat. Like, even if she had, like, a couple pieces of toast and some nice hot tomato soup, that would be good. That wouldn't be heavy on her stomach. I mean, there's things she can eat. She just, she's got to stay away from so much takeout. It's a lot of takeout, a lot of sodium, a lot of sugar, a lot of, you know, just processed food. That can make you very physically sick. I just want to drink. No, I didn't take as many edibles today. Yeah, but she doesn't look so guy. high. I told him I would get back to him that I was busy. Edibles do help with my anxiety. They do. They do I help. Three days. But again, you do take psychiatric medicine as well. So you got to make sure that that part is working along with it. Now, weed only takes you so far with helping with anxiety. It's not like you can be in the middle of a panic attack, take a hit, and be like, oh, I'm fine. It doesn't, it doesn't happen that way. In a row, I know. Uh, I was really hungry. That was after, like, a whole night of, like, sex exercise. I was so hungry. 
you can afford not to eat. Yeah, that's what I feel like. But it's from the Ozempic too. Intermittent fasting just makes me feel great. It does. I really, really just fucking love how it like. That would be a wonderful idea, doing intermittent fasting. A lot of people do that. Um, I do notice myself that if I get up in the morning and I don't eat anything, I can literally go all day until dinner time and not want food. Uh, I don't know why that is, but that does seem to happen to a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, look, that's fine. I don't know. However... You have to eat the right food. Like if you're not eating all day and you come to dinner time to have a meal, you can't always have takeout. Yeah, you know, once in a while, okay, once a week, something like that. But you have to get more nutrient dense foods. You have to eat like homemade healthy foods. Or even if you order from a nice restaurant or something like that, where you're actually getting a meal, not like a pizza shop thing. You feel so much better like eating when you're hungry. Like right now, why would I eat something? I, but I'm so fucking bloated. Like I look like pregnant here. Like, Fizzy really Fox says, "I hate therapy like myself. I know it's not easy, but would be I, would I you maybe get, like, consider a it?" Scan or something on. She definitely needs to go to therapy. I don't know why she's so resistant to it. It could be that when you're faced with the realities of yourself and the bad choices you make and all the things that you're thinking and, and you're kind of talking to a therapist and it's kind of bouncing around. It's very hard to face yourself and your, you know, your issues that you have that you're trying to work through. Maybe she just wants to avoid it. You know, she, she wants to not have to deal with it and just pretend it's not there. But unfortunately what happens is it just balloons and balloons and one day you just explode. And that's not healthy. Not for the mind or the body. Because, holy fucking shit, that's dangerous. That needs to come off. And that's going to take time. Oh, man. And it's so swollen. I don't want to... Yeah, he's literally the only person I think I would be comfortable having sex with. She wants to get, you know, the, you know, the port parts of her body, you know, removed, the skin and all that. She needs to lose as much weight as possible so that they can take as much of the skin off at one time. She needs to lose that weight. That's, that should be her motivation. As her skin's getting looser and it's getting more floppy and uncomfortable, she's going to become more and more self-conscious about it. So really focus on losing as much weight as possible. Get yourself down. Stabilize yourself at that weight for about a year and then have your plastic surgery. And you're going to feel amazing. You know, you're probably going to have multiple ones. That's usually how it's done. But yeah, I mean, definitely. But you got to lose the weight. Because he's seen this all. Maybe that's why he's running away. He's fucking tired of dealing with it. No, but seriously, I won't feel good if it till it's gone. It's so heavy. Yeah. Swore. Hi, Samantha G. How are you doing, Peach? Yeah, present sweeters. Sweetie. Now yeah, the armadillo playing. I've seen Wait. that before. I'm crazy. Like that. Oh, that's my cat. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Take a vitamin. Karen shake. Greenroot, you help me What's so much. Twitter? I love you and your streams. Uh, you look amazing, by the way. Expert. Karen. But I rarely actually tweet. Ducks are cute. Probiotics. Yeah, they're look, going there looking for tea. He just posts X Men shit. Not even. Love I barely Danielle. even tweet that. I just rarely tweet. I don't know if I want to go on the drive. I mean, Rach MS said, "I think you should go on a drive this weekend and just have fun and see how see how things go." Yeah, edibles. Yeah, she needs to get out. She needs to get some fresh air. I just don't have the energy for anyone else. I think right now. Julie Perez says, "You're very beautiful. You should, and soon you oh, will no, be with not, someone not that you love and values you." Absolutely. I hope that she can end up in a wonderful relationship and be happy, but she has to work on herself. I smell fear. Who? No, I'm not going to. Natty G asks, is Pete dating anyone? I wonder if he's still talking no, to that woman. To. She needs to work on herself. 
Yes, I do. Bebop act. Do edibles mm. make people rock back well, and forth? I I no, know. I never it's have. I've never seen anybody too. rocking you know, like that. Burnt you know? I don't know. It also depends on your body. Like somebody my weight would probably burn calories a lot quicker. Somebody who's very heavy burns calories very quickly. So I would probably like triple it for somebody my size or double it at least. You know? Hi, Sam. Thank you. No, I have Instagram. Foodie Beauty Official. Foodie underscore beauty underscore official that's what i heard someone who's heavier burns more calories yeah because think of all the heavy weight you're carrying around you're gonna burn more calories if you're walking with weights just get high and sleep the days away oh. i don't need to get high to sleep the days away there you go, Pete's. I love that. I love, wait, I love when Pete's makes digs. I don't need to get high to sleep. He's, he's making a dig at Chantal. That's so funny. That's why I love when Pete's is on the videos because he calls her out so much. <laughs> like in a very passive aggressive way. It's hilarious. Pete, would you ever let Chantal do a full face of makeup on you? Would love to see it. Hodge, please. No, I'm just reading the He doesn't comments, need that all like... over his face. Ugh. Oh, you see my face. Thank you. Hi, Destiny. My 600-pound life, yeah. My voice is different. BMR. I know BMI. <laughs> Thanks, Georgette. I'm not going out, no. Red lipstick makes your teeth look very, very, very white. But it has to be like a blue. Is this like a blue undertone? Yeah. Somebody wrote. We need a bean uh, Maria Gasper wrote. No, I'm not getting a beef and cheddar. Having sex burns really 500 don't. calories every Enjoy time you anymore. have it. Well, it depends how long, how much, how intense. <laughs> yeah. Not that simple. I think simple. I'll plateau. Like, I think, you know, well, I do, I'm doing more activity than usual. Like, having sex at all is more activity. It doesn't matter even if it's, you know. I love, I love how this. probably having more of an impact than you think. Jord and wrote, like have you watched 600 pound life? Those people lose like 80 pounds in one month. So she's trying to like, yeah, you know, justify. Yeah, it's true. They do. And go to orange tree. Take some to court. Oh, I think I am getting kind of sleepy, guys. Alsadia Olsen wrote, why don't you talk? About your dad. <laughs> yeah, I never heard no, her talk about her dad. I think the Loki show. I, think the... I don't remember. What? I think the Loki first episode of uh, Loki might have dropped. Oh, really? Yeah, Pamela Clarkson says, The now. sex is behind you now. Go to the mall and walk. Exactly. I'm okay. Like Are you okay, Chantal? Lay down, Chantal. Oh, really? Apparently a small role yeah. in, like, uh, an indie movie. No. Kevin but... Spacey? Really? Don't even hey. give that man airtime. How do you cast Kevin Spacey in anything? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just kind of blah tonight, guys. I mean, I don't know. I'll figure my life out again, make some sense of it. And, yeah. I sure hope you do, Chantal. You need to focus. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um. 
like I say. This is when she kind of like will start zoning out towards the yeah. end. So. No, Joe. Let's, yeah. Pizza's back. Hi, zombie queen, Olivia. Trying to be supportive, bowl of sunshine. Tian, my Pete's. Hi. The face mask. by six feet. I'm a millennial. We're lucky if we'll ever get to retire. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think about that too. I'm like It's true. I don't think I'll ever see retirement. I'll be working till my death. I mean today it's hard to survive just retiring. Retire by sixty means I die at fifty eight. <laughs> oh my god, Pete. <laughs> Such a demon gloom. Corporation glue. still gets two years of work out of my dead body. <laughs> I could retire by 45. Oh, God, Pete. You're so that. freaking funny. I swear to God. I need to change <laughs> directions of my channel, meaning I have to do something I really love, and then I'll be passionate about it, and I think just planning some... She has said this multiple times. Changing the course of her channel, uh, figuring out a new direction, or figuring out what content she wants on there. She is unable to write an outline for a live or you know to keep things on course and keep topic and keep interest on her lives she is unable to produce any type of video content um i don't know where she thinks she's going to be able to vlogs where it's like and live streams where i get to do exciting things in life for you guys i would love that you know so start planning it write things down yeah. work at it Anyway, basic basic said live stream traveling Sorry, around the guys. world. I really had she could never make it. Today. That's too much for her. Came on live a whole bunch of times. Okay, so I'm gonna end this here. <clears throat> you know, there's a bunch of stuff in this video. Um, I'm not gonna say much more about this, but I really appreciate you guys coming here and listening to my reaction to Chantal's videos. I hope you stick around, like the video if you enjoyed it, and really subscribe. Um, so that when I post videos, you'll be notified and you'll can follow my channel. All right, guys, take care. Have a wonderful day.